Hi everyone. For those of you that are new, I'm Marcy. I have four kids, the youngest of whom is Freya, and she has a rare syndrome called Cornelia DeLing syndrome. It uh, causes developmental delays and growth delays. And I found out I was pregnant with Freya five years ago, I think today, maybe yesterday. So <laughs> that made me realize for the past five years, I have living been living largely in survival mode. And I kind of was just waiting till things got easier, which they never have. And I'm realizing now they probably never will. So I am trying to get myself out of survival mode this year. I'm not big on resolutions because I feel like I make them and then don't do them and then just feel bad about them. But I, it's just a goal. If I don't meet it, I'll at least have survived and that's all that matters. So this is a video that a lot of people ask for when I mention that I meal prep. I don't really want to go into weight. I, you know, talking about losing weight, although this can help you lose weight. That is a little more complicated. For that, you need to figure out how many calories you need to eat to lose weight for how tall you are, and that's a whole thing. So if that's something you want to do, I'm sure there's a lot better resources than I am. I just want to talk about health because for me, I found my biggest problem with living in survival mode and just kind of surviving is that I'm not fueling my body the way I know it needs to be fueled. I'm not eating good, good, healthy. I don't even like that term. I'm not, I'm not giving my body what it needs is what I want to say. I'm not eating as many vegetables as I should be. I'm eating too much processed food because it's easy. Because I've had a really hard day. I've been running to appointments and therapies, gotten a new diagnosis that's life-changing, and so I just eat whatever. I eat chicken nuggets and french fries and Oreos, and I'm not giving my body what it needs. I also used to be someone who loved exercise. And now I hear people say that and I'm like, oh, but I remember being that way. <laughs> like I loved, I still love going on walks. I used to love weightlifting and yoga and Pilates and anything to get my body moving. It made me feel great. So I want to try to get back into that as well. But today we are going to talk about meal prep. So my biggest downfall is portion control. I love food and I want to eat all the food, even if it's healthy. I will eat way too much. I will eat until I feel sick because I just love, I love food. So I find that when I meal prep and portion my meals out into appropriate sizes for me, and I don't have extra food lying around, I don't feel the need to go back and get more. That is my number one goal. So in meal prepping, I always try to have a protein, a carbohydrate, and a vegetable. Those three things in correct proportions are great. They keep me full, they make me feel good. So that's what I focus on when I meal prep. Today, I'm going to be meal prepping meatloaf, curry, and for dinner, I'm going to make some chicken meatballs. I have done this a couple different ways before. I have, uh, on a Saturday, had my husband take all my kids out for three hours and I've meal prepped the whole week's worth of meals for me and my husband. I have also done it where I just make extra dinner, like three times the amount that you would eat. And then we just put those leftovers in containers 
for lunches for that week. So I will make, you know, curry on Monday, do extra, then we'll have three or four lunches of curry. And then the next day I would do the meatballs, make extra, we'd have three or four lunches of meatballs, et cetera, et cetera. And either way really works. Today, I'm gonna try to get a couple meals because I like a little variety. I'm not one that likes to eat the same thing over and over again. So, let's get to it. So, I am going to link the recipes I am using in the description below. I'm not gonna make this into like a cooking show. I'm just gonna kinda show what I do and then you guys, if you wanna use the same recipes, you can. But it really is just mostly about portion control and making sure that you have good whole ingredients in the foods you're eating. All right, so this one I don't have a recipe for. It's just something I've kind of made up. So I just spray a cookie sheet. I take all these chopped potatoes I have, toss them on there. And this is just like a roasted potato. Flatten them out the best you can. My kids absolutely love these. And this would count as like one of your carbs in your meal. I always spray on top too. You can also just like toss it in an oil. I've done that before with olive oil and just kind of tossed it lightly in here and then put them on, that works too. And I know a lot of people will use like sweet potato as their carb. They say it's healthier. I don't like sweet potatoes, so I just do regular potatoes and it's better than eating french fries, in my opinion, because it's not deep fried. So that was just salt. I'm gonna put some pepper on here. Onion powder. Cumin. garlic powder, and chili powder. You don't have to do these seasonings like I'm doing. Just feel free to use what you like on your potatoes. I've also done like a rosemary roasted potato, rosemary garlic that I absolutely love, but these kinds my, kid li my kids like. It's like a seasoned French fry. So I find myself doing this more often than the rosemary. And then you're just gonna put these in, I think I have it at 415. And you're just gonna roast them until they're crispy. I'm gonna turn them once or twice, you know, kinda make sure all the sides get crispy. And I also just wanna point out, this is the vegetables for my curry. So I'm not gonna have a vegetable like separate on the side because this is all in the curry and I like any recipe that can do that I'm not a huge just like plain vegetable on the side type of person if I can ever mix it in I am 100% for that this curry recipe calls for chicken but I'm gonna use this shrimp I got the shrimp we were making sushi last week and we didn't end up using it and it's gonna go bad if I don't use it so I'm just gonna sub that out and again, with cooking, you guys, it's just like, don't make it too hard. You can use a different protein if you don't like the protein that's in there. Switch it out with something you do like. I love shrimp. My husband likes them, but not like me. I absolutely love shrimp. So I'm excited about this part. Another thing I like to do is like with my meatloaf and things, I like to cook them in the muffin tins because that like pre-portions them. And then I can just put like two little... Liam calls them meat muffins. <laughs> Two little meat muffins in each container. Look who's home from preschool. Did you have a good day? Hi. Yes. She kept her cast on all day, which is amazing. Do you need something? Hold on. Let me get it for you. Is this what you saw you wanted? Um, I wanted to 
talk a little bit about, I did get a lot of comments about why didn't they just put a plaster cast on. <sighs> Multiple reasons. Um, first off, when she broke her elbow, they could not get her to bend it to a 90 degree angle. Anytime they got further than about here, she would start screaming in pain. That's where she was getting her pain from. So they were worried that if they gave her a plaster cast like this, she'd be able just to slip it right off, which I 100% agree with. Second, she has a sensory processing disorder. So any type of sensory input can be um, upsetting, I guess, is the correct word. And he was worried that we would get this plaster cast on, that it would be so upsetting that she would pull it off and yank it off and we would risk further damaging her elbow because she wanted it off so bad she was gonna pull it past the point of pain. Um, this has worked out great for us. I love it. I'm so glad that they did not put a plaster cast on. This is working. The next thing is a lot of people were upset that they didn't find out the extent of the break the first time. The first time we did the x-ray was not at the orthopedics office. They did do a, a two view, but because of the anatomy of her arm, they did not get that second picture right. Because when they bent the elbow, her elbow doesn't bend like everybody else's does. So when I went back to get the x-ray done again, they had to take take the x-ray like four separate times before they got a good angle to look at it. And it was very difficult to get it to that angle because Freya's elbow just doesn't bend that way. Her anatomy is completely different. And I don't fault the doctor. I don't fault the x-ray technician. I don't fault anyone because her elbow doesn't bend the way other elbows bend. So trying to get it in that position was extremely hard, even for the experts that do it all the time. So don't come in my comments and be saying that the doctor was awful or the x-ray technician was awful. I don't, unless they are completely negligent, I do not fault medical personnel for not getting my daughter exactly right. My daughter's not like a typical kid. She doesn't have typical anatomy. I don't fault them for any of it. That's why I'm there. That's why my job is so important as her advocate is because I know her. I know her better than anyone else and it's my job to be there. It's not their job. They see her for two minutes ever. So we're not upset. This is working great. I'm going to take her cast off she has been doing so good at home with it off. I know everybody's really concerned that she's going to fall again with it off at home. Oh, but she has been able to get around so much better. Oh, bye-bye. She's so much more stable on her uh, feet when the cast is off. Pause, please. Sorry, we had to get a bottle and take that cast off. And now we have a happy Freya again. <laughs> anyway, um, she's so much more steady on her feet when her cast is off because she has another hand that she can grab onto things with. So I feel better about keeping it off during the day. We don't do anything wild here. If I take her to the park and we're going on slides or swings or things like that, then I will put it back on. But as of now, she's so much happier with it off too. You can get around again, huh? That makes you happy. All right, back to cooking soon. As soon as Freya finishes her bottle, we'll go check on those potatoes. All right, let's talk containers that we store our food in for meal prepping. I do a lot of canning our garden vegetables so that we have them all year long. So I have a lot of mason jars just lying around in my house. So for the curry, I'm gonna put in the mason jar because I don't mind if that's all mixed together. It's supposed to be all mixed together. For things I like to keep separate, I have these glass Tupperware I got on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. Things don't have to be expensive though. You don't have to go out and buy things. Before I used those, I used a lot of just like Cool Whip containers, sour cream containers, takeout containers I would keep if they were plastic and wash them and reuse them. You can use things like this. If you want to invest a little bit of money, these are great as well. 
All right, so with the curry, I do a half a cup of rice because that's a serving size. When I first started doing this, I did a lot of Googling. Like what's a serving size of rice? How many calories are in a serving? How many calories are in a serving size of rice? How many times a day should you eat? You know, and you just have to find what works for you. I love snacking. So I actually end up eating like five or six times a day. Because no matter how much I eat at lunch, I'm hungry two hours later. So I do a little bit smaller portions because I eat more often. If you only eat two or three times a day, then you can go up on your portion sizes. Did you want this? Yes, you did. You got it. You show everybody how happy you are. What'd you get? You love it. So I just put a half a cup of rice in each. And then I'm gonna put some of the curry mixture on top. Since Freya stole my scoop, we're gonna get a new scoop. Yes. And again, because I've done this before, I kind of can just eyeball it. And I'm not being super strict. I don't want to lose a ton of weight, so I'm not being super strict with that. I just am focusing on getting just some nutrient-dense food in my body, having it available. If you want to be super strict and want to, your focus is on losing weight, if you don't follow Kayla Chandler, I believe is her name. She is really where I got a lot of inspiration for meal prepping. I will also link her YouTube channel below. She's a nutritionist. She also focuses on just like nutrient dense food, but she has different meal plans for weight loss, for muscle building, all different sorts of things. So she's great. I'm just sharing what I do, but I know there's so many other people that do things for a living and can explain it a little bit better than I can. All right, here's all my meatloafs. I like to put ketchup on the top before I eat it. We'll do that later, but just some green beans, our roasted potatoes and meatloafs. These ones are for my husband. He obviously needs more food than I do. He's... All right, so this is meal number three. Obviously, we're not gonna eat all these meatballs in one sitting. Could we? Yes, but portion control, we are not going to. So I'm just gonna take, I did zoodles instead of noodles. This is just zucchini shredded up, and that will count as our veggie. And then there is, uh, breadcrumbs in the meatballs so that kind of counts as the carb and the protein and also the sauce and what I like to do when I'm trying to portion out what I'm eating is I just serve it up here instead of putting the food on the table and then I will portion up these leftovers right away so I don't come back and eat more but Ooh, that looks good. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, you're excited. Careful, those meatballs might be hot. Do you want me to cook regular noodles for you, or do you just want meatballs? I think just meatballs. Just meatballs, that's what I figured. Freya? Are you making messes? Yeah. She loves to get in our drawers. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. What do you guys think about dinner? Good. I love the meatballs. Perfect. The meatballs. What did you were you like this or like this or like I loved this? All of it. <laughs> Not all the way down, but just mostly down. <laughs> Liam didn't love it. This is what I think about it. Oh good. <laughs> what did you think, Chris? I thought it was good. Yeah. It was different. We've never had the chicken piccata with yeah. the capers and the, the lemon. Sauce was a little bit different than yeah. what I was expecting. But I had two servings of it, so. So it wasn't horrible. All right, well, I hope I'll see you guys next time.